If there's one thing we know, life always finds a way. At PhilInvest Life Malls, we are in the business of developing potential, inspiring lives, and always looking towards the future. And by the looks of it, the future looks green. For the past decades, we've ensured that all our efforts are sustainable. We integrate sustainability measures into our daily operations, allowing this green mindset to define and enhance our culture, our identity. And our first move towards a greener tomorrow is with Phil and Bess Life Mall's Eco Movement, a sustainability program that aims to protect and preserve the environment. It also aims to strengthen and engage the communities where we live, work, and play. And our malls, customers, partner tenants, and employees will adopt this program. It all starts at the heart. Our pillars of integrity, quality, and service. And we've already taken steps for our malls to reflect this green initiative. The construction of the Festival Mall Boardwalk, a verdant respite for joggers and bikers. Specialized segregation bins, waste management and maintenance. Energy and water efficient solutions. Il Corso's I Am a Custodian a sustainability program that aims to strengthen marine life and biodiversity by doing regular cleanup in partnership with the local government, volunteers, and NGOs. And things are looking bright indeed as PhilInvest NG Renewable Energy Enterprise Incorporated signed a 20-year solar power purchase agreement with PhilInvest Land Incorporated. State-of-the-art solar panels will be installed on the rooftops of Festival Mall, generating almost 7% of the mall's requirements, reducing our carbon footprint and saving 30% of costs. Sustainability has become a marketing ploy, a selling tactic for some, but not for us. We are coming up with smarter and more innovative ways to be a paragon of sustainability. This has further propelled our vision to take sustainability beyond momentary and fleeting, but rather a movement. As we journey as a sustainable shopping center every day, we aim to leave a mark behind as a symbol of our commitment and lasting legacy. This is the dawn of our sustainability story. More than just the new normal, this is our new life. Fill and Best Life Mall's Eco Movement. Sustainable every day. If there's one thing we know, life always finds a way. At Fill and Best Life Mall's we are in the business of developing potential, inspiring lives, and always looking towards the future. And by the looks of it, the future looks green. For the past decades, we've ensured that all our efforts are sustainable. We integrate sustainability measures into our daily operations, allowing this green mindset to define and enhance our culture, our identity. And our first move towards a greener tomorrow is with Phil and Bess Life Mall's Eco Movement, a sustainability program that aims to protect and preserve the environment. It also aims to strengthen and engage the communities where we live, work, and play. And our malls, customers, partner tenants, and employees will adopt this program. It all starts at the heart. Our pillars of integrity, quality, and service. And we've already taken steps for our malls to reflect this green initiative. The construction of the Festival Mall Boardwalk, a verdant respite for joggers and bikers. Specialized segregation bins, waste management and maintenance. Energy and water efficient solutions. Il Corso's I Am a Custodian a sustainability program that aims to strengthen marine life and biodiversity
by doing regular cleanup in partnership with the local government, volunteers, and NGOs. And things are looking bright indeed as PhilInvest NG Renewable Energy Enterprise Incorporated signed a 20-year solar power purchase agreement with PhilInvest Land Incorporated. State-of-the-art solar panels will be installed on the rooftops of Festival Mall, generating almost 7% of the mall's requirements, reducing our carbon footprint and saving 30% of costs. Sustainability has become a marketing ploy, a selling tactic for some, but not for us. We are coming up with smarter and more innovative ways to be a paragon of sustainability. This has further propelled our vision to take sustainability beyond momentary and fleeting, but rather a movement. As we journey as a sustainable shopping center every day, we aim to leave a mark behind as a symbol of our commitment and lasting legacy. This is the dawn of our sustainability story. More than just the new normal, this is our new life. Fill and best Life Mall's Eco Movement. Sustainable every day. Hello, hello everyone and good morning to all of our Facebook viewers today. Welcome to Phil and Best Life Mall's Eco Talk. How are you doing today, folks? I hope that you are all doing great on a sunshiny Saturday morning. I'm Kay Ang from Am Academy PH and I'll be your host for today's Eco Talk. You know, I'm so much excited to be with you this morning because we will be talking about a topic that I'm highly interested to learn about, and that's Bokashi composting. Very recently, like a lot of you, I've turned myself into a plantita, and um, Bokashi composting has been one of the things that I'm really interested to find out more. And um, like me, you might be wondering, is it going to be too difficult, too complicated? Mahirap ba magbukashi composting? Well, as confirmed with our speakers for today, it's not going to be as difficult as we think it is. In fact, we will have two speakers today who are leaders and advocates of Bukashi composting. They'll help us appreciate this practice even more and they'll walk us through the whys, the whats, and the hows of Bukashi composting. I'm sure that after this session, we'll all be ready and excited to jump into our Bokashi composting practice. And talking about um, greener and healthier earth because of what we're doing um, in terms of trying to preserve our nature and our uh, mother earth, I'm so happy to share with you and actually find out myself about Phil Invest Life Mall's Eco Movement sustainable everyday campaign you know what i personally find very special about this is knowing how phil invest life malls is passionately integrating sustainability in their daily operations like what we've been seeing the use of solar panels active waste segregation waste management and a lot more activity that they're um doing as part of the initiative while engaging the people in the community level and that's us right community we're all part of the community you me all of us are all part of that community and one of the engagement initiatives that um Phil and best life moss is doing is through this eco talk that we are actually having today are you all excited eco talk is a series of conversations among advocates of sustainability and how they practice this in their everyday life so let's jump right into the most exciting Part and that is learning about DIY Bokashi composting. I would love you to watch this video that we will be showing in a bit. 
Pater was diagnosed with breast cancer in year 2000. And was given only two years to live. She had a mastectomy. One of her breasts was removed. And since then, she felt like a part of her womanhood was removed from her. It changed her personality and her demeanor. And therefore, we decided that she would go for alternative therapy, which includes that she will add some live green enzymes. We will also add half a cup of fresh drink. Eat only, eat and drink only uh, fresh fruits and vegetables that are organically or naturally grown. So during those times, um, until the six and a half yeah. year, her cancer was controlled. She lived a quality life. But as soon as she went back to her normal diet, which includes her cancer actually came back with a vengeance. Um, it spread to her lungs and her brain. And within two months, um, the cancer actually took her away from us. So the thing about cancer, though, is that cancer is systemic, meaning you would not get cancer with a single exposure to a certain toxic chemical or a toxic food or a toxic individual. But it's an accumulation of all of these different exposures that actually causes cancer. Um, but one of the things that are actually within our control is the food we eat. So we cannot control our environment, even the toxic people that we meet, but we can certainly control the thing that we put in our mouth. Um, all right, so if, if healing starts with the food we eat, the question then is where are we going to get good food, safe food, and nutritious food that is also within our means? So what I've realized is that organic and naturally grown food is very expensive, and sometimes it's even we're not even sure if it's really grown organically. So I decided that I wanted to, to grow my own food. Um, only to realize that putting organic inputs or organic fertilizers is also quite expensive and not very sustainable. So that's when I realized that in order for for us to grow healthy food, we also need to heal the soil. The soil needs to be regenerated and rehabilitated. So we need to heal the land, right? So during those times that we wanted to heal the land, of course, Initially, we bought a lot of organic inputs, vermicast and everything, and I thought it's very expensive. It's 5,000 every four months, 5,000 pesos every four months for one hectare. So I said, okay, let's take care of chickens because chickens will naturally fertilize the land, right? The problem with chickens, though, is that they poop everywhere, not just in soil, not just in the grass, but sometimes they also poop in concrete and where your house is, and then there are flies. So I researched for a solution that is not chemical related to the smell problem and the fly problem. And there I discovered the power of effective microorganisms. It just didn't deal with the flies, but also the smell, but it also made the decomposition faster. So even with just the effective microorganisms, it, it, it can already help to, to generate the land. But effective mi microorganisms are alive, right? They still need food. And the food is the manure from the chickens, right? And even the carabao manure. So whatever worked for the chicken manure also worked for the carabao manure. It dealt with the smell and the flies. And then I went back to the city because I have to continue working because the farm is not producing any income for us, right? So I, I need to go back to the city. And then another realization came to me and I said, where are those garbage going Dami dami garbage truck. Where are they going? I don't even know where the landfill is, but I just know that there's so much food waste in those trucks that can potentially fertilize the land. And then also I, I tried to talk to Barangay and find out, can you bring this to the farms? And of course they said no. They gave me just this 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 look that, are you crazy? Why are we going to bring it to a farm? But anyway, uh, what I just realized is that whatever you can do for chicken manure and carabao manure, you can also do for your food waste. Just Treat it with effective microorganisms. All right, so that brings us back to the city, guys, right? So I think um, it's good that, that, that you know about the humble beginnings of Bukashi Pinoy. Um, but uh, let's go back to the city. I think um, since we are in the city, we it's also, I think, good if, if we start talking about how we manage food waste in our cities, right? So let me share with you this. Um, short presentation deck. So food waste management in the cities, why do we need to care? I think most of us who are in this uh, uh, 
EcoTalk are probably based in Metro Manila. We need to care because um, wherever we go, there are trash bins, particularly trash bins with food waste. And those trash bins usually is quite smelly, regardless whether you are at home or in a mall or in schools or in parks, those trash bins when it has food waste is going to be smelly and for sure there are going to be pests um, like cockroach and uh, rats and even snakes at some point. And then of course, sometimes, particularly in our households, even our pets actually get into the trash. So it's something that we need to constantly monitor, uh, whether the kitchen, again, is in our homes or in food establishments. But um, um, aside from that, I think all of us um, ha probably has experienced this in one form or another, that the trash collection was a bit unreliable during the pandemic. And that's the reason why we have a lot of participants in our learning programs during the pandemic. But what is really, really, really important at this point is for all of us, particularly Metro Manila residents, to know that um, three of our landfills, particularly the biggest landfill in Metro Manila, which is based in Rodriguez, is going to reach its limit in 2022. So what does it mean? That means we're going to have a problem with where we are going to send our garbage. So in terms of, uh, the amount of garbage that we produce in Metro Manila, that's 14 million tons of annual waste. Meaning in a yearly basis, that's the amount of waste that we are generating. So again, as I mentioned earlier, three of the landfills that we have, particularly Rodriguez is going to, to close soon. And that's the reason why we should really care about the waste that we have been generating. Uh, but aside from the smell and the pests and the, the issue about uh, where this food waste and trash is going to go, particularly the space, no? what's really important is how it is affecting us from climate perspective. Uh, we all know that when we use electricity, for example, di ba yung fridge nyo or yung inyong uh, air conditioner, pag ginagamit nyo siya, di ba mainit siya? So what it means is electricity actually produces heat. So kung ikukumpara natin yan dun sa ating food waste, um, lahat ng food waste natin actually causes heat to accumulate in the environment. Yung 15 kilograms na food waste, which is mga ganito kalaki, ganito karami, isang balde na food waste, um, that's about 15 kilograms. And that 15 kilograms of food waste, ka kakaunti pa lang yun, ang isang balde pa lang, it emits 28.5 CO2e. That's greenhouse gas. That's how we measure the greenhouse gas. And that greenhouse gas makes our environment hotter than it needs to be. So, gaano ka init? Di ba nabanggit ko kanina that the, the ref and the aircon actually produces heat? It's the equivalent electrical consumption of an average household for two and a half days. So, yung, yung init na nag-generate ng fridge nyo and ng, ng air condition nyo for two and a half days. Ganong init ang naidudulot ng inyong food waste. So, the question is, what can we do about that? Diba? Parang lahat ng mga natin kanina, medyo negative. We can all change that narrative. We can change that story. If we know that the food we eat causes our diseases, chronic diseases, then it also makes sense to change the narrative and say, let's provide food for our family that is healthy and sustainable. And if we can provide food for our family, then perhaps we can also provide food for the soil. So for example, dito sa picture na to, I'm showing you kalabasa because it's my favorite vegetable, uh, my favorite vegetable. So you eat the, the vegetable itself and then the peelings, you throw it into the soil to become food for the microorganisms. And then the seeds, you start growing it. Yan yung pina actually napakadaling buhay ng kalabasa, particularly if you have really, really good soil. So that's the story that we want sana for our uh, for our viewers to to have in the future na naghahanda tayo ng uh, health food for our family, we're also feeding the soil, whatever space we've got, whether meron lang kayong container na maliit o meron kayong farm, katulad ng pinakita ko kanina, or garden, um, pwede kayong magtanim kahit paunti-unti, you can do that. So with that, ano, so we are providing food for our family and the soil and building sustainability in terms of the future. We are diverting uh, food waste na away from the landfill. 
and also fertilizing the land, di ba? So parang ang ganda nung narrative na we are removing, we are using the food waste itself instead of bringing it to the landfill, we are fertilizing our land, whether it's in pots or in a farm or in a garden, it's making good use of something that we are already throwing away. And in terms of Bukashi Pinoy, no, I think our narrative also includes that uh, we we also have created a source of livelihood for our land la landless farmers in in uh, in Nueva Ecija. So what used to be uh, the byproduct of the rice milling process, that's another way of being sustainable. No, yung, yung ipa or rice hull, it used to be just a byproduct, basura lang, tinatapon lang or sinusunog lang. But now we are making good use of it by making Bukashi brand out of it or what we call Bukashi ipa. And aside from the Bukashi ipa, um, uh, as our product and as a fermenting agent for the food waste, we, this is uh, also one of the ways that we are trying to treat the, the food waste to make sure that it will be usable from our to our gardens and farms. So we treat it with Bukashi, uh, with the Bukashi IPA. We engage the community. So aside from advocating it with our families, asking our families to do it properly, uh, people like uh, Chema Kasbak, you will uh, you'll meet her later. We, we influence our communities as well to do Bukashi composting. Uh, so we are pioneers in the sense that um, we have engaged our users of Bukashi IPA and uh, connected donors of Bukashi compost to those who needed it the most. So for example, uh, this particular picture that you're seeing here, they needed the compost for their gardens. So uh, one of the Bukashi practitioners also in the picture is donating her Bukashi compost. So with that, um, we are continuing that ad advocacy and we need more people like Che Makaspak and um, all of our advocates to continue saving the environment one bucket at a time. Wow, that's really an insightful sharing, Miss Lani. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. Well, just to introduce, Miss Lani Francisco is the founder and owner of Bokashi Pinoy Composting. Thank you again, Miss Lani, for sharing with us your humble beginnings po pagdating sa Bokashi Pinoy Composting. You know, it's really commendable how much passion you and your team have for this practice. And I love what you said, no? Very, very true, Miss Lani, um, that in order for us to heal our physical bodies, we need to start healing our land. And Bokashi Composting is actually one of the ways that we can help heal the land. That's my personal takeaway po from your session today. Thank you so much. Now, I know um, at this point, I'd like to ask you naman po a question. I know that your team, um, Bokashi Pinoy Composting, your very own team and Festival Life Malls are working on some projects in the community level. Please walk us through um, these projects that you have in the pipeline in the future and what um, people like me in the community can expect or mall goers can expect to see as part of this collaboration. Yes, thank you, Kay, for that leading question. So um, as I mentioned earlier, no, aside from encouraging our household owners or household uh, members to do Bokashi, we have been engaging our communities as well to do Bokashi uh, composting at a community le level. So we've got mm -hmm. uh, small communities in Pasig, in Quezon City, and now also in Paranaque being led by one of our community leaders. Mm -hmm. So basically, they're just not doing it at a household level, but also as a community level. And soon, um, so we also have what we call Bukashi Pinoy satellites, wherein people who have treated their food waste with Bukashi but have no land to put their Bukashi into. Basically, they just want to be zero waste, right? But they don't have uh, space to plant or anything. Right, they can donate right. it to those people who wanted to plant. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, um, having said that, um, we are very proud to be working with Phil and West Life Moss because Phil and West Life Moss, through their Eco Movement Sustainable Everyday Program uh, mm -hmm. will be partnering with us, Bokashi Pinoy, to, to find ways to deal with the food waste of their food establishments in an eco-friendly and sustainable way. So that's something that our mall goers should, uh, I think, look forward to because right. it's going to be exciting mm -hmm. and fun as, and yun nga, it will help the environment. 
That's right. That's very interesting. Interesting that um, we have a lot of things going in the future and things that we can expect to see as part of this collaboration. Thank you, Miss Lani, for working with Festival Life Malls. And of course, thank you, Festival Life Malls, for having these kinds of really commendable initiatives for our nature. Um, I have another question, and I think this is the most important one, especially po for Bokashi composting beginners like me, and I know a lot of our audience will agree. Paano nga ba, Miss Lani, how do we finally get started in this whole Bokashi composting practice? Ano ba yung mga kailangan namin? What are the essentials? What are the things that we need to know? Ano yung mga dapat gawin at hindi dapat gawin? Please walk us through po the process and the requirements to finally jump into this whole practice. Okay, okay. So uh, right beside me, I think you you probably been wondering bakit may balde ako sa tabi ko, no? So that's actually the Bokashi Pinoy bucket. So um, regardless where you, regardless if you're at home or in a mall nga, and I think most of us are at home naman anyway. Most of us are working mm -hmm. from home, so therefore we generate a lot of food waste. All you need to have at this point to get started is just this Bokashi Pinoy bucket. And in inside mm -hmm. this bucket, you will see, uh, you will have uh, printed instructions on how to go about it. And this Bukashi Ipa, I mentioned this in the video that uh, this is one of our flagship products. This is what you actually put into your food waste so that it will be preserved. Because you need to preserve the food waste. Because as you know, yung food waste naman, it has to go somewhere, somewhere pa, diba? So you have to preserve it for a while so that it doesn't attract pests and it wouldn't have uh, the smell that we don't like. So Bukashi, you might, in case you're wondering, means fermentation in Japanese. So like uh, how you how you would ferment your achara and kimchi, we ferment our food waste moon as well. So with that, Miss Kay, maybe it's good for me to show you how it's done no? in, in a practical yes. term. I'll bring you to the garden to show you how the the end-to-end the -end cycle. Mm -hmm. All right, to get started in the Bokashi Pinoy bucket, inside that bucket, you will have this Bokashi Ipa. Um, the instructions. So that's all you need to get started. So this is how you do it. Let's say this is your fresh food, scra food scraps. Um, then you just add the Bokashi Ipa into it. So whether you're at home or in a mall with the grocery stores, that have extra food waste. This is how you can do it. Then you close it. And then once it's full, you further ferment it. Like these two buckets here have been fermenting. This one has been fermenting since September 28th. So it's ready to be buried. And that one too. That one is one week, has been fermenting for one week. So after two weeks, you can then bury the contents of that bucket into this box. And then after two weeks, you can plant your food, like this one. This tomato is planted on a similar box. Uh, this one I have uh, eggplants here. More tomatoes, uh, calamansi, this is harlem tomato, some flowers, and then oregano to avoid pests, and also this serves as my tea. And for beginning gardeners, the easiest to start with is actually talbos ng kamote. And I have lots of talbos and kamote and more edible plants and okra. Wow, interesting. Galing, Miss Lani. All right. May nakita lang akong tanong, no? Like a question from, I think this is from the, the audience. He says, mm -hmm. for those who live in condos, what would you... With no space at all, what plants or veggies would you suggest for us to start with? Well, for beginners, no, I, I think yung talagang hindi pa nagahalaman. I always say this, no, you start with okra <laughs> because this is the easiest to grow. And um, talbos ng kamote, literally the one that you buy from the market and yung pinagtabasan nyo, tusok nyo lang yung sa lupa, magugrow talaga siya. 
the the reason why I say that is because if you are a beginning gardener, which which used to be me three years ago, I used to be a, a serial plant killer. I wanted to have some level of success, and with okra, you will always have success. <laughs> okra and uh, talbos ng kamote, even kangkong. So for those of you who, ako kasi talaga ever since I was young, no, I really like planting tomatoes. But those are the most sen sensitive type of vegetables to grow. Uh, mm -hmm. But if you want to be excited like me, I always plant tomatoes, even if it always dies on me. So sometimes I, I nurture them to maturity. Sometimes I just, I just say, okay, it's good for compost. If it dies, then I would just say it's good for compost. Win win pa rin, Miss Lani. Yes, it grows, yes. Win -win pa rin. it dies Correct. for your yes. compost, right? Correct. Thank you, Miss Lani, ha, for sharing that very insightful discussion. You know, honestly, when we talk about composting, Bokashi composting, um, it sounds so complicated and difficult, and it feels like parang ang hirap gawin. But you showing it to us, it shows only that it's really doable, and we can actually do it even for beginners like me, right? At this point, we'd also like to keep encouraging our folks no, to try Bokashi composting. And um, in fact, we have Miss Che Makaspak. She's also a Bokashi composting advocate and a community influencer to share with us her beautiful journey through Bokashi composting. Please watch Miss Che's video. It is an honor to be part of this Eco Talk. And I'm happy and proud that Festival Mall is leading us on how we can protect and preserve our environment. I am Che Makaspak. I'm a housewife, a mom, a Bukashi Pinoy practitioner and an advocate, and a cancer survivor. On our annual executive checkup, they found that I had UTI, urinary tract infection. Upon completion of all my medications, I knew that there was still something wrong, so I consulted a specialist. To rule out kidney stones, he ordered me to have an ultrasound. And as soon as we received the result, he advised me to see my OB ASAP. Next thing I knew, we were already discussing about malignancy. I was not prepared. And I think no one will ever be prepared to hear the word cancer. I underwent a series of tests to confirm if it was malignant. Unfortunately, I failed them all. So my doctors scheduled me for an extensive surgery. They found bad cells in my left ovary and at the same time in my uterus. We waited for another three weeks for my histopath staging and diagnosis. It was cancer, cancer of the uterus is stage three. I was overwhelmed at a loss for words and I definitely hit rock bottom. I allowed myself to cry I allowed myself to get angry, but I also set a time limit so I can focus on my treatment and my family. I took it one step at a time, one day at a time, and I am grateful that I had a very strong support system. I had six chemo, 28 IMRT or external radiation and three BRACI internal radiation. One of the side effects of my treatment was loss of appetite and also the metal taste. Despite that, my mom encouraged me to eat healthy foods and she even started an edible garden in our veranda. Organic vegetables and fruits were sent to me from my home province as well. Following doctor's orders and eating a healthy, balanced diet um, during my treatment were important for my body to 
function at its best. So, uh, exactly one year after I was diagnosed, we received the good news. It was negative PET CT scan result. I continued my mom's edible garden. We planted more vegetables, more herbs, and also medicinal plants for simple home remedies. And to sustain our garden, and also to address my concern about our food waste, I joined Bokashi Pinoy. I care for the environment. I care for our health. And I hope that you will join me in this road to wellness. Nothing beats a fresh harvest from your own edible garden. Healthy soil, healthy food, healthier people. I am a Bukashi Pinoy practitioner, and this is my story. It was one rainy morning when the garbage collection truck came for its rounds that it occurred to me, there must be so much garbage going to our landfills. With once a week garbage collection in our village during the lockdown, I became very concerned about our food wastes. Joining the 30-day garbage to garden challenge addressed my concern. I learned so much from the hardworking, dedicated, and passionate mentors and advocates. I must admit, it was an extraordinary experience. While we all have our own reasons to pursue gardening, this passion seems to have found its way into my heart when I was still young. And Bukashi Pinoy brought it to a whole new level. I use the leachate that I get from the fermented food waste as fertilizer and we noticed how it made our plants healthier. The compost that I harvest is a good amendment to have a healthy soil perfect for our edible garden. Organic, sustainable, environmentally friendly for a healthier lifestyle. I'm glad and proud to have joined this advocacy of diverting food wastes one bucket at a time. That's my story. What's yours? Miss Che, thank you so much po, for sharing with us your beautiful story. And I honestly praise God for your healing. I see so much why you have that you know, inspiration when it comes to Bokashi composting and eating naturally grown vegetables. Thank you so much for encouraging me and the rest of the audience with your story today. Now to the folks who are tuned in today, if you have questions, nako type them in the comment box and um, we'll go over the questions in just a bit. We'll ask them directly to our lovely guest speakers. Now back to Ms. Tse, I have a curious question to ask Ms. Tse. Um, because as you know, I'm a Bokashi composting beginner and I want to um, just go get um, go as far back as when you were starting in terms of Bokashi comp composting. What were some small changes that you had to make and adapt to as you embrace the sustainable practice? Say practices in the kitchen, at home, in the family. What were these um, tiny bit of changes that you um, start shifting to when you were starting? Okay. Um, before I joined Bokashi Pinoy, Ms. K, we just threw everything, um, everything away. I mean, our wastes. We had a small tub where we put our leftover cooked food and um, it attracts pests. And we also have two trash bins uh, mm -hmm. that's for the biodegradable and the non-biodegradable. But now we are more disciplined in segregating our wastes. And in our kitchen, we see our scraps as treasure for our mm -hmm. compost. Actually, we have this uh, five small tubs under the sink. That's where we um, put our uh, kitchen scraps. And by looking at it, you know, we know that 
um, if we are eating healthily or not. Um, we also become, became more aware of what uh, we can do for our environment. And Ms. K, definitely we um, reduced our wastes and we try to improve it every day. Right. It's really enough. Oh, no. It's a change in lifestyle. It's a change in perspective. And um, these are small wins. Thank you for sharing, Ms. Che. You know, it only proves that it takes small steps, small steps lang in the beginning, and you do it consistently to see great results in the long term. Thank you for sharing with us your starter habits. Thank you. At this point, we'd also like to call on Ms. Lani back on screen with Ms. Che to help us answer some of the questions that we have from the audience side. I read one question um, earlier. Yeah, let's see. What is that question? Oh, for Miss Lani. This is directed to Miss Lani. If I want to get into um, Bokashi as a business, will it be a lucrative business? All right. So we want it to be a lucrative business because it's a business that actually does good for the environment, right? And uh, what better way to do that but with a social enterprise? Um, mm -hmm. I'm not going to say it's lucrative at this point because... We're still at a point wherein we are raising awareness to, to the, to the public, right? So it's still we are still at a stage wherein we are educating them how to use the product. But potentially, can you imagine 14 million tons of garbage that just goes to the landfill and you com convert that into compost? You know how much compost actually costs? It's about 30 pesos per kilo. So potentially, that's. That's uh, something that someone can actually do to mm -hmm. develop a business on. So convert those garbage into compost and sell the compost to all of the plantitos and plantitas that we have. So that's how, that's, that's how I see we could create a, I call it regenerative economy. Uh, let's make the economy much more sustainable and exciting again. Because mm -hmm. alam ko naman sa pandemic, medyo apektado lahat ng business. But there are ways we could we could re reignite the economy. Right. Thank you, Ms. Um, Lani. That's in the business side of things. Now, we move yeah. to the more practical side of it. Now, in, mm -hmm. um, in our homes, diba? what exactly is IPA made of? And where do we get it from? Okay. So, IPA, um, for the ano, no, uninitiated, <laughs> IPA is actually just the rice hull. You know, the, the, the rice that we eat on a daily basis. When it's harvested mm -hmm. from the farm, it contains, uh, uh, meron pa siyang balat. Yung balat na yun, ang tawag natin is rice hull. So, after that rice hull, the immediate shell, meron pa ulit na another balat, another covering, which is the rice bran. So, this rice, IPA or rice bran, we further treat it with effective microorganisms para doon mamahay. So basically, this is a host or um, a home for the effective microorganisms. Literally, what, the one that actually helps us to deal with the smell and the rotting odor and yeah, the pest. It, ito talaga. Yeah. Actually, the effective microorganisms, but we can't see it, right? <laughs> because it's, uh, it's so small, but they need a house. Yeah. So, the Bokashi mm -hmm. is their home. Dito sila natutulog, actually. When it's dry, they are sleeping or dormant. But when you put it into your food waste, nabasa sila ulit, they begin to wake up and eat our food waste. Right. Okay. So, it helps in the entire process. Pero, Ms. Lani, where do we get the ipa? San ba namin makikita yung, ah, ma makukuha? Where can we buy it from? Okay. Or so maybe the, the whole Bokashi bucket. Saan po pwedeng magpakuha? Mabili. Sig siguro parinig na ako sa Festival Mall. I hope they can carry this as one of their flagship products. But right now, it's available online. On Facebook, Shopee, and Lazada. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So for those who are interested to finally dip their fingers into Bokashi composting, ayan na. That's where you can get those big buckets of Bokashi Pinoy. Composting. Now we have another question from the audience side, po, Miss Lani. Um, what are the best thing aside from the fruits that we can put into the tubs to start our composting? Ayan na, this gets more fun, Miss Lani. Answer it for ano us, daw? please. Aside from the what fruits, can, daw? Yes. What can we put into the bucket for composting? Ano pang pwedeng idagdag aside from fruits? Pwede ba ang tissue, paper? Pwede po ba yun? Yes. 
Uh oh, tissue paper. As long as you didn't use it for number one and number two. If you use it just for wiping the table, ganyan, pwede siya. Even cook food waste, you can bukash it. Um, although we just have specific instructions on how to deal with cook food because mas madali yung raw fruits and vegetables. So basically, ang pagkakaiba lang naman is you need to add more brand pagka cook food na. Pag raw veggies and fruits, konting konti lang ilalagay niyo. So eh, basically everything, any food waste you can put into your Bokashi bucket. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's interesting. I ibig sabihin, mga pinagbalatan po, right? Pinagbalatan, oh, oo. Pinagbalatan As a beginner, correct. As a beginner, yun muna ang suggestion ko. Start with the pinagbalatan lang muna ng gulay. And once you complete the whole cycle, di ba pinakita ko kanina na after fermenting, binaon sa lupa. Pag nakakompleto na kayo ng ganong cycle, then you start adding cook food. Mm -hmm. Pwede na yung mga tiritirang cook food. Miss mm -hmm. Miss Lani, hindi po ba siya lalanggamin? That's my number one question because I have I have a child at home. Hindi ba siya lalanggamin? No, it's not. Because uh, actually, ganun siya in invent. Uh, that's how the Japanese inventor invented it to deal with the pest. So it shouldn't be infested with ants and cockroach, especially and rats. They don't like fermented food. Miss mm -hmm. J, in your experience, hindi naman po siya. Um, nilalanggang or fruit flies, wala naman. No. Miss Kay, um, that's why, ano, maganda yung sa Bukashi, you know, because they teach us the best practice. So, yeah. di ba, I joined nga the 30-day uh, garbage to garden challenge. And mm -hmm. what's good with them is, sabi nila, after we complete that, pwede kaming mag-experiment. That's what I did. I experimented. But, I had failures also. So I still went back to best practice. Right. Thank you, Mr. Alam mo, Ms. Lani, I'm really curious. What are the tiny bit signs that will tell you tama yung ginagawa mo when you're actually doing composting? Ano ba yung mga telltale signs na kailangan namin bantayan, antabayanan? Actually, you have to use all all of your five senses. <laughs> so so number one is your smell. Um, mm -hmm. It should smell like... Uh, achara on a good day and kimchi in a bad day because the reason why i say that some people like the smell of achara some people do not mm -hmm. like the smell of kimchi mm -hmm. anything other than that it means you need to add more bran yun lang naman yun mm -hmm. sabi nga nila there's no bad bokashi uh, if it's th that's the reason why che mentioned it now we start with tubs because it's easier mm -hmm. to check pag nasa tubs pa lang siya yeah. so if it doesn't smell mm -hmm. fermented just add more bran um, the other telltale sign is if you see white mold. Yung iba, they get worried if they see white mold. Yung amag na puti. But if you see that, that means it's really, really good. So, yun yun. Um, we don't touch our bokash. That's, we put it in a dispenser. But if you want to touch it, that's entirely okay because you put fresh food anyway. So, some of us actually do that. Mm -hmm. I have another question also from the audience side. Sabi niya, what can we do if I want to do the bokashi composting but we don't have plans to use it for at home? Okay. Is there a hub? Um, yes. Yeah, so right now we do have, ilan na ba yun? Three active bokashi Pinoy satellite sites in Metro Manila. So these are the uh, composting sites who are accepting uh, mm -hmm kitchen waste that are fermented the Bokashi Pinoy way. We have, yun nga, sabi ni Miss Che, we created this best practice so that yung mga tatanggap naman ng food waste, they won't have a hard time uh, processing it. So, three yun, isa sa Santa Ana, here, sa City, dito sa residence ko, another one in Makati, and then two in Pasig. Uh, apar, apar pala. <laughs> Okay, okay. At least you have those hubs. Another question. Ako, the yes, questions keep Anna. coming in. Oops. If you have more questions, please just type it them, them in the comment box. We'd love to hear from you. Um, we have a question from Jasper Manabat. He asks, can saw dust be used as replacement of um, rice husk? Siguro to. Can saw dust be used as a replacement for bokashi composting? Good question, Jasper. No, a lot of people actually uh, DIY their own bokashi brand. You can use yun yun na sabi mo, pweding sawdust. You ibangan yun sa paper pa eh. Some people use rice brand or wheat brand. So to answer your question, Jasper, yes, but it has to be treated with effective microorganisms. And if I may add also, 
um, may mga kasi may mga friends ako na they tried other other ways pero na mm-hmm. nag fail so better pa rin talaga yes better pa rin the uh, best practice from kina Miss Lani da Bukashi Pinoy siguro I just have um, this interesting question because I've tried compa- composting also but I failed too many times Miss Lani Miss Che what are your <laughs> what are your um, advice for those who maybe have tried it in the past but failed and got discouraged how can we you know what's your encouragement for us for before I've been doing traditional composting so I just collect all the scraps normally mga ano um, fruits and vegetable scraps and even yung mga egg, ganyan, um, eggshells. And I just mm-hmm. put it in uh, a paso. So, para ano, <laughs> oo. So, yun na yung ginagawa ko dati. Pero ang dami talagang pest. So, nandidiscourage din ako eh. So, one thing siguro na kung bakit ko nahanap yung, yung bakasya, aside from it was being introduced to me by uh, a friend, is yun nga, Miss Kay. Um, I, I want a better uh, method. I want to. I wanted to try a better method, and I'm happy. I'm really happy that uh, I was able to find it through bokashi composting. Yes, yes the yes. method. Okay, yes, okay, yes. all right. Um, Miss Lani, encouragement for those who are beginners. <laughs> beginners like me failed a lot of times. <laughs> well, okay, begin again. Uh, that's the. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's the only way. Begin again, and just like Chase uh, has said, do. Um, Try the Bokashi Pinoy way because uh, creating compost takes time. Usually, it takes about six six months. And if you do it wrongly, you don't have the right tools, the right knowledge, what to do. It can take longer. Without Bokashi, it can take much, much longer. So do it with Bokashi um, and do it the Bokashi Pinoy way um, mm-hmm. so that mas mabilis. Ang tawag ko doon, doing it right the first time. Para unang-una, hindi ka, hindi ka ma-demotivate. Pangalawa, you save time. Also, yes. you save money because that's what we teach in our 30-day program. You save money. We don't want you to use too much pa too soon. In fact, we always say, you know what? Kung yung balde mo ang laman, raw fruits and vegetables lang, this is enough. You don't have to use more than this. But if you add cooked food, mga kalahati nito ang kailan mo. Mas malaki siya, oh. Mga kalahati nito. So we teach the most practical way to do it para masustain nyo, pangalawa, the right way to do it para hindi kayo ma-demotivate. Ma- so, yun lang. Just keep doing this. And again, it's fun when you do it with others. Kasi kung, <laughs> like me, you do it uh, on your own, like I did it three years ago. Uh, napakahirap niya, tsaka minsan nakaka-demotivate pag mag-isa ka lang. But if you do it with a group, by batch kayo, tapos sama-sama kayong nagpo-post ng pictures. Ayan, si Chen natatawa siya kasi she's part of batch 9. So that was in the middle of pandemic. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. share sila ng pictures what they are going through. Yeah. Yes. I enjoyed. So maybe, I enjoyed every day. <laughs> so maybe for my last question, Miss Lani, if they want to learn more about Bokashi Composting, Pinoy, uh, Bokashi Pinoy Movement and your initiatives, where can they find you? Tell us more about it, please. Okay, so we are in Facebook. The name of the page is Bukashi Pinoy Composting. Same in Instagram. We also have a website, bukashipinoy.com. We are also in Lazada and Shopee and hope we can also have a physical store. Um, and then on Thursday, we have a webinar. This is the full Bukashi primer, like what is Bukashi? So much more detailed. Siya. This will be on Thursday, 5 p.m., October 29th. So another mentor is going to lead that uh, webinar. So see Miss Karen. Okay, thank you so much, Ms. Lani. We will be on the on the lookout for your um, activities in the coming weeks. Thank you, sure. folks. This has been very um, this has been a very fruitful session. Do you agree, right? It honestly gave me that final push, you know, to seriously give Bokashi composting a try. And I hope it did the same for you too. It, if this session has been helpful for you and insightful for you, why don't you send us some love and share this session to your friends and family members? We'd love you to help us spread the word. And as we wrap up our session, we'd like to ask our guest speakers for some parting words. Miss Lani, would you like to go first for words of encouragement for viewers today? Okay, so guys, you know, as I mentioned earlier, no, uh, let's try to, to uh, make 
prepare the best food for our family. And the best way to start with is to add more veggies and fruits. Mm -hmm. And then whatever scraps you've got from it, throw it into the soil and then plant your own food. Kahit na ganyan, kaliit lang na paso, oh. actually, this is ornamental. But if you are an existing plantito or plantita now, just try to venture naman into edible food. It's also quite uh, fascinating and um, fun to grow edible food and some of them actually quite beautiful yung turmeric pagka lumaki yon mukha siyang ano mukha siyang ornamental so i i i encourage everyone to try growing your own food and making your own compost if not then find ways to divert the food waste yun nga we have uh bokashi pinoy satellites across the metro my questions pa daw okay All right. thank you miss lani um we have um pahabol questions i hope um it's still okay we have a question from Roy Pahela. Gaano po kalaki ang space na need namin to start? Okay. Ang need yun na space to start? Like this bucket, where this bucket is, ano? <laughs> um, propped up. It's just a very mm -hmm. small table. This is all the space you need. And then if you got uh, the box that I so showed you earlier, actually, kasing haba lang siya nitong mesa na to. Um, okay. Yeah, that's all the space you've got to get started. Mm -hmm. So maybe about uh, one meter by three meters, including where you walk, one meter by three meters. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. That leads me to the next question, ma'am, from Nui Rosales. Can we keep the Bokashi bin inside our condo unit? And can we add bones to the Bokashi compost bones? Or buto po siguro ng chicken or fish? Definitely. Mm -mm -mm. We have a lot of participants actually um, in the 30 Bay Garbage to Garden who lives in the Kudos. And as you can see, it looks ano naman, or quite aesthetically pleasing. So it's white and it looks clean. So you can definitely store it inside your... Actually, that's how Bokashi was uh, invented, no? So that you can keep it in very tight and small spaces. Right. Okay, I hope that answers the question. Thank you, Miss Lani. We now move on to Miss Che. Miss Che, aside from your beautiful story, any words of um, encouraging or words of wisdom and encouragement for our viewers today? Okay, um, first of all, um, I would like to thank um, PhilInvest Life Malls, the Eco Movers, and all the organizers for giving us this opportunity to share our stories. I think we really need to help one another in um, caring, preserving, and protecting our environment. And that's why I invite you to please join us. Let us divert our food waste from our landfills one bucket at a time. Thank you. One bucket at a time. Thank you, ladies. There, there you have it, folks. Miss Lani Francisco, founder and owner of Bokashi Pinoy Composting, and Miss Che Makaspak, a Bokashi advocate and a cancer survivor for today's Eco Talk on Bokashi Composting. Of course, we'd like to say thank you to um, Film Invest Life Malls for, again, this kind of really thank great you. commendable thank initiative that we have for us. Thank you so much, ladies, for gracing our session today. You know, guys, we'd love to go on and learn more, but sadly, we have we are on the final stretch of our session. But don't worry, don't worry, because if you enjoyed this Eco Talk, Festival Life Malls have a lot more of Eco Talks coming up in a few weeks. Make sure lang that you're following their Facebook page, Fell Invest Life Malls, and um, you will see their updates and um, schedules for the next and upcoming Eco Talk. Again, thank you so much, um, Fell Invest Life, Life Malls, for this initiative. Let us all support their eco movement sustainable every day we can start within our homes through little mindful changes and remember that small steps lead to bigger changes when done consistently this has been kay ang your host for today thank you and see you next time if there's one thing we know life always finds a way at phil invest life malls we are in the business of developing potential inspiring lives and always looking towards the future and by the looks of it the future looks green for the past decades we've ensured that all our efforts are sustainable we integrate sustainability measures into our daily operations allowing this green mindset to define and enhance our culture our identity 
and our first move towards a greener tomorrow is with Phil and Bess Life Mall's Eco Movement, a sustainability program that aims to protect and preserve the environment. It also aims to strengthen and engage the communities where we live, work, and play. And our malls, customers, partner tenants, and employees will adopt this program. It all starts at the heart. Our pillars of integrity, quality, and service. And we've already taken steps for our malls to reflect this green initiative. The construction of the Festival Mall Boardwalk, a verdant respite for joggers and bikers. Specialized segregation bins, waste management and maintenance. Energy and water efficient solutions. Il Corso's I Am A Custodian, a sustainability program that aims to strengthen marine life and biodiversity by doing regular cleanup in partnership with the local government, volunteers, and NGOs. And things are looking bright indeed as PhilInvest NG Renewable Energy Enterprise Incorporated signed a 20-year solar power purchase agreement with PhilInvest Land Incorporated. State-of-the-art solar panels will be installed on the rooftops of Festival Mall, generating almost 7% of the mall's requirements, reducing our carbon footprint and saving 30% of costs. Sustainability has become a marketing ploy, a selling tactic for some, but not for us. We are coming up with smarter and more innovative ways to be a paragon of sustainability. This has further propelled our vision to take sustainability beyond momentary and fleeting, but rather a movement. As we journey as a sustainable shopping center every day, we aim to leave a mark behind as a symbol of our commitment and lasting legacy. This is the dawn of our sustainability story. More than just the new normal, this is our new life. Phil Invest Life Mall's Eco Movement. Sustainable every day.